Hi everyone, Jason Lupke, Global Solutions Specialist with Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And I'm gonna to talk today about the teacher's edition for our Into Math series. And again, this is a continuation of our Into Math unboxing for grade three. And we're looking here specifically at that teacher's edition. And it's important to know that it's not a single book, but instead it's a multi-volume series, okay? So each of these individual, and they're real nice, skinny, soft cover, um, easy to handle and use teacher's edition books. There's one or two, and, and in some cases, even up to three modules that are covered in these, but you'll notice they're all about that same thickness. Again, um, one of the things I like about that is that I'm able to very easily take these home with me and bring them back to school. You know, uh, easy to carry around, easy to use, easy to walk around the classroom with or use in small groups. So we're gonna just take a look for the purposes of this video, modules three and four. You know, in third grade, one of the major focuses, of course, is multiplication and division, and that's what we're doing here in unit two, multiplication and division. Of course, we've got those two separate modules here, module three and module four, okay? And <clears throat> this is really just part of the unit, okay? So you'll notice that since this is uh, the beginning of a unit, the very first thing that we see in here is the unit opener pages. We focus on STEM inside of math and how that relates to the learning that we're doing now, okay? We can see that module overview. So we have several modules that fall inside of this unit. And then we always have a focus page at the beginning of the unit on learning mindset. So we've got something that we're focusing on. In this case, we're focusing on perseverance. Okay, and again, that's embedded inside the program, so you have those opportunities to talk with and work with your students on that. One of the things that you really need to know and understand about Into Math and what sets it apart from others is the concept of the learning arc. So the learning arc was developed to bridge conceptual understanding to procedural fluency. You know, so often our students struggle making that connection, and so we help them build that bridge and in this case, the learning arc happens to go across two separate modules, module three and module four, okay? We have two different types of lessons in, a, or I'm sorry, three different types of lessons in a learning arc, okay? What the heck, I've got one that doesn't even have. So what's really important to know about Into Math and that learning arc is that We've developed those three different types of lessons to meet the three different types of learning that need to happen in a math class. So that's, that's building the conceptual understanding, okay? Those are the green lessons. That's connecting concepts and skills. That's how we bridge the conceptual to the procedural. And then, of course, that last type are the purple lessons, which are the procedural fluency. And what you'll notice is not every module contains all three types of lessons, Sometimes that learning arc extends beyond just one module and across multiple modules. And sometimes we don't work towards that procedural fluency even until a later module. Okay, so kind of moving forward then, we've talked about that learning arc, okay? You can see lots of professional development and teaching for depth strategies built right in as well. And something that, that I think is really important to note, and we talk about it when we look at the planning and pacing guide as well, and that's the talk moves. So this is professional development on working with our students to develop that mathematical thinking and language that we're looking for in our math classrooms. As we continue in, in the teacher's edition, of course, again, we talk about in the planning and pacing guide, developing those language routines. Here's the planning page for that that goes along specifically with this unit in this module. And as we've talked about before, at the beginning of each module, we have the, are you ready? Guys, this is a really important component of the program. It's our opportunity to assess prior knowledge, identify gaps and weaknesses that our students may have, and then use our data-driven intervention table at the bottom of that page to help intervene and build those skills before we start the module. It's critically important and it helps the rest of the module move much more smoothly. As we get into the individual lesson planning pages, now that we've gone through the unit and module openers, of course we have all of those lesson tools that you need here. The mathematical progressions is one of my favorite features here because it tells us what students need to know prior to what we're working on now 
and in the future that relate to our current learning. And of course, all of that professional learning that we've talked about in teacher support built right in at point of use for you as the teacher. As we get into the lesson a little further, you see the very first thing we have are some different warm up options. And you'll notice as we go through the individual lessons, a lot of flexibility and choices for you as the teacher. What's going to work for you and your students? Of course, into math is built on a concept of differentiation. So the small group and small group and mass center options built right here into the planning pages. So you have the ability to help your students that need additional support that are on track. And even those students that need a little bit more of the challenge and enrichment activities. Again, to support you as the teacher, student samples for types of answers you may see in our spark your learning tasks including these if-then statements around if students give you a certain type of answer for uh, that spark your learning task, how you can interact and support that student and help them make sense of, uh, of their work. Again, mention the spark your learning task, but that's how we start a lot of our lessons, okay? And this is, again, an opportunity for students to make sense of the math, to develop some of that productive perseverance, Okay, and again, those language routines and activities like turn and talks built right in. You'll notice then we move into the build understanding. This is where we start to develop that common understanding around the learning objectives for that individual lesson. You'll notice leveled questions embedded into the teacher's edition here. So you've got that level one, two, and three support for your students. And then we move into the step it out. And this is where we start to de develop some of those procedural fluency skills around what are the steps that we need in order to solve the problems that we're looking at. One of the most important things that we can do in a math classroom is to check for understanding and to use that data to inform our instruction. And so you see here, this check understanding is intended to be a data checkpoint. And then of course we have those differentiation options that follow. Once we're done with the, those beginning portions of the lesson, maybe we've done some enrichment and some differentiation. We ask our students to practice on their own, okay? And then, and then of course, we've got the ICANN scales, which help our students figure out where they are in their learning progression, a check-in in our learning mindset, and then a reference to that more practice and homework that students have access to in that practice and homework journal. And again, we outline all of that inside of another one of our unboxing videos. After all the lessons in the module, we get to the end. Of course, we've got the module review, okay? And some practice tests and, and, um, and different forms of an end of module assessment. So this has been just a look at the teacher's edition, looking specifically at modules three and four for our third grade into math program. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos in our unboxing series. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. If you're looking for more content, click on the video to the right of your screen. Welcome to our global community.